We're very used to seeing Emirates Airline with the world's largest passenger jet, but it's very unusual to see Emirates with the smallest. This is the Phenom 100 EV, and it's used by Emirates to train its pilots as they're coming through to fly the bigger passenger jets that are going around the world. The Emirates Flight Training Academy was one of the launch customers for the Embraer Phenom 100 EV. It's an evolution of the business jet and considered to be an obvious choice by airlines for preparing cadets for multi-engine operations. And Embraer were very quick to point out how well it's being taken around the world. That's true, Alan. Um, our aircraft, uh, they, they are uh, good for multiple types of missions, uh, not only the traditional business jet usage, but in the recent years we have seen a number of clients using our jets for pilot training on the Phenom 100. Uh, in the Middle East region, we have Emirates Airlines and Etihad Airways, uh, both of them using the airplane for training their cadets before going into the airline as co-pilots. But in other world regions, we also see that the, the Royal Air Force uses the Phenom 100 to train their pilots. Uh, Purdue University in the U.S. and other airlines around the world are using the airplane for this very specific type of mission. So both Emirates and Etihad, as well as the RAF, have ordered the Embraer Phenom 100 EV. The aircraft cost around $5 million each, and they've got phenomenal performance for cadets to be learning. A takeoff run of 3,190 feet, they do a maximum cruise speed of 406 knots, and can fly at a maximum operating altitude of 41,000 feet. So for cadets going to do their multi-engine rating, it's significantly different from what they're used to. The advantage of using a, a, a very advanced jet like the Phenom 100 is that on, on flying a jet airplane with highly integrated avionics, uh, automation and so on, uh, the students and the future pilots, right, they, they will learn since the early phases of their, their, uh, of their flying how to fly airplanes that are integrated, that have uh, advanced systems, uh, modern systems. So it's a much smoother transition once they go into the larger airplanes in the airline.